Come a little closer, my darling. Come a little closer. <laughs> Hello, our beautiful bitterets, and today we are doing the I Love Spring Tag. Yep. And this is in a collaboration with a bunch of ladies, and I'll link their channels below. Also, this is my second spring tag that I've done. The first one I did was with Candy Powder and Blush. I just love her. I love Candy. Um, she's one that I have to watch every single video on. <laughs> I just love her. So anyway, um, I will also link that video down below, but these are kind of there's a couple similar questions, but pretty much everything else is different, so let's get into it. Okay. Yeah. Number one, favorite spring nail polish. I can't choose. So She's I like have four. mama. I have four. I have four of them. They're all orally. So I have magic mirror. Can I add a periwinkle color? Yeah. Okay, this one is Nose in a Book. I think this is like from like the... Um, Beauty and the Beast collection. Yes. And then we have... Eli's in the Bonjour. background. Bonjour. Bonjour. Eli's in the Bonjour. background sneezing because he's got a cold. Yeah. He and needs to last... keep it for himself. Then the last one, I have Belle of the Ball. They're pretty all pink. Pretty. And I picked two colors that she doesn't have. So right now, um, in my last tag favorites video, I talked about Juliana. It's my one of my absolute favorite spring colors. I love these corally pink colors. This is kind of more um of a coral, but then it's got this pink sheen to it, and it's just absolutely beautiful on the nails. Love it. And then what's on my nails now, which is a new one that you guys just saw in our julep unboxing, is Kayla, which is like this periwinkle, purpley blue with this purple shimmer that runs right through it. It actually pulls more purple in person, but then you get it at certain angles, you get that periwinkle, which is weird because on camera it shows more of the periwinkle than it does the purple but in purple but in person the purple kind of in purple the person yeah in purple the person <laughs> let's just get it right now in purple the person it shows more purple <laughs> <They're> just, <yeah. laughs> might as well just go for it <laughs> but anyway that's what I'm wearing on my nails as the, as we speak I love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And I love it. Yes. So I've got two. So that was six nail polishes for you guys. <laughs> okay, next. Well, number two. What is your must have lip color this spring? I have the Ulta Butter Balm Glisten. So. And what's in the color? I don't know. Oh, glisten. I guess I just assume it's glisten. You must use this one a lot. Yeah. Because this one isn't very old. And there, she's made a big dent in the... I don't know. Can you see that? There's like a big dent in there. She's. You must really like this one. I like it. But it's kind of like a dual chromey, um, creamy pink color. And it's what you're wearing? Yep. Okay, and I have two favorites that I've been wearing a lot. One is what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and this is Julep's Twirl. And I love it. And it's it's a pink, um, kind of a mid-tone pink that slightly leans towards um, a coral. Just like very minute, slight. Very, very minute. So there's that swatch. And then the next one that I've been wearing a lot is Color Pops, and this is in the color button. And I love We've button. We've had button in a really long time. But I, I use button a lot. The only downside to the Julep one is it doesn't have a good scent to it. It's got like a crayon scent to it. This smells like um, a vanilla. So these are the two colors that I've been wearing a lot. This one leads, leans a little more to like a peachy pink than the other, but I love it. 
I wear it all the time and I love this one. Um, even though this has got a crayon smell, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't, the smell doesn't linger on your lips or anything. And it's very long wearing. Like it's, the formula is kind of a mix between like, I want to say it's more on the lines of the satin formula because it's, it dries down a bit but not fully so it's still moisturizing if you know what I mean so it's kind of in between like a regular lipstick and a matte so but it wears a long time it's a good product I love it yeah button was like in one of our very first videos wasn't it mm-hmm so next number three show us your favorite spring dress this it's what I like to wear every year. All the time, all year round. I Turn wear around. It all the time. And it's got this lacy back on it. And she loves it. Hi, Malachi. What you doing? Okay, you need to get out of the way so Sissy can come sit again. I know. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Lissa loves long maxi dresses. Same with me. Now, I would show you my favorite spring dress, but there's a problem there. I've lost a lot of weight, so all my favorite spring dresses don't fit me anymore. I had to get rid of them. So yeah, but I'm the same way. I love the long maxi skirts and long maxi dresses. That's what I prefer. Okay, number four, what's your favorite spring flower? I like shooting stars. And I'll plop in a picture somewhere in here of shooting stars. They're These so will be pretty. all my own pictures that I've taken. We love doing hikes in the spring in particular and we love, I love taking pictures of wildflowers. Mm -hmm. So I will insert some pictures of Lissa's favorite which is the shooting star. My favorites, I've got two of them, my absolute favorite is the fairy slipper and then I love Montana's wild uh, state flower and it's the bitterroot. I love both of them. So I will insert pictures in here of my favorites. So, Okay, next we have favorite again. spring scarf slash accessory. I just got this and I absolutely love it. It's like, it's made out of paper beads from Africa. Yep, you guys just saw um, me do a haul. It's in the video um, friend mail and haul. So I, I hauled it from 31 Bits, and they are a company that uh, sells paper jewelry that um, ladies in Africa make. Okay. And it's turquoise, her favorite color, and it's got glitter. Yeah, yay, glitter. Mm -hmm. glitter. Glitter. What's yours? My favorite, um, I don't wear a whole lot of scarves, but I my favorite accessory has to be jewelry and stuff I make. So right now I'm just sporting these little earrings. earrings. It's got opalite, aquamarine, and a turquoise, all um, Swarovski crystals in there. So yeah, I mean that's my favorite accessory. It's not necessarily spring. But my favorite accessory is just jewelry in general. And I love when I make when I wear my own jewelry in particular. That's 90% of what I wear is my own jewelry. Okay. So next we have number six. What spring trends are you most excited about this year? Makeup, fashion, or both? And mine would be... Uh, pink the pink blue and gold eyeshadows those are really in right now for spring and I'm super excited about that today I'm wearing a little bit of like a, a blue gold pink am I wearing gold no I'm not wearing gold I'm wearing pink I'm eyeshadow wearing. I'm wearing pink eyeshadow and um, some blue yeah like a blue zircon it's a blue with a little tinge of green in there. But yeah, I'm loving that the pink and blue and gold eyeshadows are in. I love pink. I wear pink all the time for eyeshadow. And I love gold eyeshadow. 
but I normally don't wear that until the holidays. So now that it's popular for spring, guess what? My favorite eye looks are coming back from winter. <laughs> so, and then one thing, pink lips are very in right now, hence my pink lips and clear gloss and natural nudie type lips but my absolute favorite trend right now is freckles people are showing their freckles they're not caking on so much makeup that it covers their natural beautiness i love I love freckles i love freckles freckles are pretty freckles are really I pretty and i never had freckles, freckles. I, i've gotten freckles throughout the years now that i'm getting older in the sun um, but I love freckles and I love that people are um, showing their natural beauty instead of caking on all this stuff to hide every little freckle and dot and stuff on their face. To me, that's not pretty. If you do that, fine. If that's what you feel comfortable with, fine. But to me personally, I love to see freckles. I don't, I think looking like a doll is it's not my thing you know hence I don't wear foundation if I've got a zit everybody knows about it you know that's just how it is and right now I'm I'm flushing because my pain is up high but yeah I I don't hide it I don't hide it I like my naked bare face I like my my little naked naked bare face it's really soft <laughs> and um, you know, I've got some freckles in there and stuff, but... I have really, 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 really light freckles. You have, you have to, to get really close to see my freckles. Yeah, now you're getting older, you're starting to see them on your cheeks, but... You know, you're pretty much like me when it came comes to that department. You are drying out quite a bit. Mm. That, um... It has to be the new, um... Face wash. Yeah. The the face the what what Garnier face wipes for oily skin that um was in the beauty con box and I gave it to Lisa to use and I could see how dry her face is now. Your face has never been this dry. No wonder you were complaining about itchies. Um I'm gonna need to get you um a moisturizer when we're out and about okay. and that'll help. You'll okay. wash your face and then you'll put a moisturizer on and, and you'll be good. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. But it's obviously doing its job to re rid your face of oil, but, I mean, you've got, like, this dry... I don't know. Can you guys see that? Get close. Can you see this dry patch right here? It's like she got a sunburn and she's peeling. That's how dry it is. And she, you haven't been out in the sun long enough to get any of that. And it's, you, I mean, I'm seeing patches on your face a, a lot of places. So, we're going to find you some stuff. Okay. Malachi, your nose went right into my armpit. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Here, you can have some of it, too. Ugh. Thanks for the deodorant, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not wearing deodorant. That was my, my mom funk. You just got mom funked. No, the dog, when he licks your armpit, it's free deodorant from the dog. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, number seven. What I is think I your enjoy. Favorite spring candle. Okay, favorite, favorite candle. Right now, I am not a big, humongous fan of floral scents, but I do love lavender. And I love like sweet pea. I I like those lighter scents. Um, so this is a candle that I found at CVS Pharmacy. They were having buy one get one free. So this is Candlelight Company, and it's Fresh Lavender Breeze. Does that smell spring to you? Yeah. That's like spring in a bottle right there. Spring in a jar. So that is one of my favorite scents right now. I, I got two of them, obviously. And then another one I've got burning right now is Scentsy's Sunkissed Citrus. And this is just citrus. It kind of reminds me of sun. Okay, next. Favorite body spray slash perfume for spring. I like 
Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea. Fragrance. It's is Bath and Body Works Sweet Pea. This is what she loves. She actually lost it for a while. Yeah. And then I found it. And she's like, you found my Sweet Pea. <laughs> Were you excited about that? Yeah. Don't spray it on your... Ooh, that smells good. That smells good. Okay. That smells good. And then mine, my absolute Ooh la favorite la. spring one is Ooh La La by Victoria's Secret. And as you can see, the the perfume is a little more amber. They discontinued this a long time ago. And I love it. And I went into freak out mode when I walked into Victoria's Secret. And they didn't have ooh la la anymore I'm like where is it and she's like we don't make it anymore so I had to find this baby at on eBay but and I've been trying to savor it because I love it I love it I've had this one for years but yeah it's got a little poofer 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 spray oh yeah I love ooh la la it'll always be a favorite but it's really starting to change and I'm sad so I just need to get over my savoring and um, just yeah. use it up because like I said it's amber in color now and it used to be um, pretty much all clear except for the hint of yellow yeah it, it had a little tint of a color but and then my other two favorites right now are have been Harvey Prince's and this is Harvey Prince's Hello which is a citrus springy summer scent and I love it as you can see I've used a bit of it but it's a roll on and it goes a long way and then this one is Harvey Prince's Temptress and I've actually used this one up more than the other I have can you see the you can't say throw ballon for through Temptress Temptress is right here in the bottle and Hello is up here. I've used Temptress more, <laughs> but I love Hello. It's citrusy, florally. It's great spring, summer, and I love Temptress. I love it, love it, love it. It smells so good. And Harvey Prince's are organic. They're cruelty-free. They're just good perfumes just to have. So there's that. Okay, next. Mm -hmm. what is spring like where you live and right now it's been a little warmer than what it normally is yeah it's, it's like been 85 it, yeah it's been like June temperatures not April temperatures which is weird we just now got a front that came in and it looks pretty cold cool outside it's it's like um 56 degrees out there. Our hummingbird has finally come home for well, the summer. The male one, we don't know. We haven't seen the female. Hopefully the female didn't die. Last year, the female was um, like got, yeah, got stuck on the, the hummingbird feeder. Because the wind blew, it sloshed out the stuff so the whole like perch got um, sticky. sticky and she got stuck so my husband went out there and rescued her and then I took her inside and washed her up and then she ended up and kind of towel dried her off and then she flew off and if I if the video is I, I posted a video a year over a year no less than a year ago of that and I'll link it down below but yeah I don't know if she survived. She did fly off, but so far I've only seen Mr. Hummer. We call him Mrs. and Mr. Hummer. And Mr. Hummer, yesterday I was outside, and all of a sudden I hear, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> and I look up, and Mr. Hummer had to come out and greet me and say, hey, I'm home. Thank you for putting out my feeder. <laughs> Normally, he dive bombs my head if I don't have the feeder out. This year, I actually put the feeder out before he got here. So it was kind of like a happy pew, 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 instead of dive bombing my head, pew. <laughs> but that's what they make when they're, yeah, they make a little high-pitched pew when they fly by. Um, 
but yeah he's home and we got a brand new feeder that has no perch so he has to fly to get his drink he can't rest and get his drink anymore but after that whole ordeal i'm like never again never again yeah, so that was a really bad feeder if bad. the stuff came out. yeah i i don't i don't like that and so right now spring um our bitter roots are really in full bloom showing their bright sunny faces they're one of the first flowers to bloom and i'll insert a picture here of some bitter roots or balsam balsam, balsam roots, roots. Ah. yeah the, yeah most of the mountain is like covered in balsam right yeah now. just bright yellow sunny flowers just going up the mountain it's absolutely gorgeous yep okay let's go on to the next one are you a spring cleaner yes no <laughs> no yes no she's not I, I don't am. like cleaning I have <laughs> been decluttering and spring cleaning this house for weeks now and I'm still in the process of doing that yeah I I normally go through the whole house I declutter I just spring is new and I want just stuff out so and the last question any plans for spring break or an upcoming vacation Yes, we are, spring break is over with now out here, but, um, and their school system, they only have school Monday through Thursday. They don't have fr school on Fridays. So their spring break consisted of um, just having that m a Monday off, so it was a four day weekend. Mm -hmm. So we really, we didn't do anything that weekend, but Memorial weekend, we're gonna go see my sister. So I'm really excited about that. Because I want to see my nephew. He's growing up. He's walking. He's really starting to talk. And I just feel like I'm just missing out so much in his life. If I had a choice, I'd see that little man every single day. Every single day. Sorry, Holly, but you'd have to see this ugly mung every single day. So I'm excited. We're going to go hiking up in there and maybe go see the museum, that kind of deal. So that is the end of our I Love Spring tag and Miss Lissa joined me. So I want to thank you guys for joining us and see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.